Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to spot for easy step-by-step -step tech tutorials. In today's video, we are diving into Lark, the powerful all-in-one platform that combines team messaging, calendar scheduling, cloud documents, task management, and even CRM tools to supercharge your productivity. Whether you're managing a remote team, organizing client information, or streamlining your workflow, Lark has the tools to keep everything in one place and in sync. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Lark. On the top corner, you have multiple options. You can log in using your credentials, download the Lark app, contact sales, or try for free. So if you do try for free, you will be forwarded to a new page. And to make the account creation easier, you can sign up with your work or business email. And of course, you can also use your Google or Apple account, whichever you prefer. If you do, you will be forwarded to this section wherein you can use the Lark web or download for Windows, depending on your preferences. Of course, we're going to show you both, but for now, we're going to click the Lark web. So if you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. At this point, it's very important to not use a VPN or any virus because that could interfere with the connection. And as you can see, you will be forwarded to the main homepage of the Lark web or the web-based version. Now, let me tell you that if you are using the desktop, okay, you might want to en enable the desktop notifications. So I'm going to skip this. Now, on the left side, these are going to be the tools that we can explore about the Lark. Number one is going to be the messenger. This is the chat feature where you can, of course, send direct message. For example, we're going to be using this one right here. You can you see on the top corner, you can add group announcement. Okay, so you can add something here. For example, you can use that to make it bold. Send the message. Now you would notice that you can show formatting. You have multiple options. You can share files, images, and voice. So we're gonna do that right now. So basically, this is where you can use all the files for communication. If you're working in a collaborative environment, this is a perfect platform for you. You can use app missions, for example, this, reactions and threads for better communication. You can integrate bots and workflows within the chat. You see that there's going to be a plus icon. You can add tab, manage tabs, and a lot more. Of course, you can add members. You can put in the organizational contacts, external contacts, groups you manage, and a lot more. You can also batch import, but the thing is it requires you to enter or paste a link. For example, if you're using a Google Sheet, you can put it here. Okay, so we're going to skip that. Now, you can also start the video meeting, but you'll be forwarded to a new page because that requires another service. As you can see, it's a different language. I'm going to make sure that it's in English. Okay. Now, next in line is going to be the meetings section. So we have been forwarded here earlier. You can use this for video conferencing and voice calls. Of course, you have, you can start a meeting, schedule or join a meeting, depending on your preference. But you see that if you have the Lark installed, you will be automatically forwarded to the application. We are going to do that later, but for now, we can start a meeting or join a meeting. If you click the join a meeting, you'll be forwarded here, where it's like a Zoom app, okay? You need to provide the meet meeting ID. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to join. Okay, so we're going to skip that. Instead, we're going to go to the calendar. So the smart calendar from Lark integrates with Messenger and Meeting. Because once you are here, you can schedule events and sync with Google or Outlook calendar depending on your preferences. You see there's going to be a plus button here, right? Now on this page, you can add something here. You can choose the color to best represent the priority. For example, it's going to be uh, something that represents our um, logo you can add attachment attachment and then you need to click on the save button 
you have multiple options with the calendar again you can view availability of the team members get meeting reminders and join links right from events you can manage shared calendars and recurring meetings okay so we're gonna skip this and we're gonna go back to another page which is the docs this is a cloud-based document platform in lark wherein you can create a new document like a docs sheets slides base form and my notes if we're going to create a docs simply will be forwarded there you can choose from any of the following templates for example meeting notes you can preview and you can simply use the template which is kind of really handy if you're working in a collaborative environment you have the agenda okay if you want to use the template you will be forwarded to the template builder you can of course describe the agenda right here you see you want to make sure that you are not using a vpn and of course you're using an active internet connection because that could interfere with the connection loading times may vary you can put in the agenda discussion conclusions and on the top corner you have an editing options suggesting and viewing depending on if you want to give access to your team members or your client the share button gives you the permission so if you want other members or other players stakeholders or people view the document or they can also add some um edit you can do it that or anyone on the organization can search it's up to you okay now of course you can also upload files which we have done earlier import as new docs and you can also go to the templates gallery if you wanted to explore more about the uh, larks so you have all these we're gonna skip this now we're gonna go to the contacts the contacts is your team directory and contact list okay you can view organization structure like org chart search for co-workers and external collaborators and of course you can add external contact if you want it you can put in the phone or email your link or your qr code right here so that you can add new contacts and create contact groups the email is going to be the built-in email client that connects to your work email if you do you can send receive and organize emails directly in lark you can seamlessly link emails with lark docs task and calendar of course we're gonna skip this and move forward with another one which is the tasks i'm sorry let's go to the tasks now here in lark you can create personal or shared tasks so we're gonna create a new task here Add task list, description. Of course, you can view tasks in Kanban list or calendar view. Let's click create that. And of course, the last is going to be the workplace. This is essentially the central hub for apps and integrations. You can access all of these comprehensive tools, leave requests, business travel approvals, or analysis. You can integrate third party apps here click the find more apps for example we have like um to do now procurement management a lot more so at that you can customize workflows using lark's automation tools and bots to streamline internal operations and hr tools okay now let's go to the uh, application um for lark now as you can see after you have you have downloaded the uh, lark for windows you're going to be able to click this small dialog box i suggest you follow the instructions okay now loading tasks may vary so you might want to give the access to this application on your firewall now at this point you have uh, successfully created or installed the lark app on windows now it's similar to the uh web-based you have all these sections messenger calendar based docs meetings workplace contacts and more it's just optimized so that if you're not using internet you can use this offline all right and of course the app 
is kind of integrated as well. If you prefer the uh, application on your desktop or your computer, you might want to install the Lark for Windows. And with that being said, and there you have it. That's how to use Lark for productivity, project management, and even CRM. So I'd say Lark is a powerful all-in-one platform worth trying, especially if you're looking to streamline communication and task management without constantly switching apps. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss another tutorial from our channel. Also, let me know in the comments, have you tried Lark or do you use another productivity tool? We'd love to hear what works best for you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.